There you are. <laughs> Imagine that. Welcome. Beginner's class something or other. Um, hopefully this week, I keep saying I'm going to improve. I'm doing my best. Maybe I'll come a bit closer to you guys. Sit down. So I've finally worked out where the camera is. There you are. It's not there. <laughs> so I'm going to try and pay attention to where the camera is. Also, having looked at things, I notice that uh, every now and again things jump up and down. So, with the wonders of white tack, we've secured the camera. So let's see if that makes a difference to focus and blurring. <clears throat> Today. Today we're going to look at three stances. I think I mentioned that last week. Long stance, back stance, horse riding stance, or Zenku Tadachi, Goku Tadachi, Kibadachi. Uh, so, I hope you're ready. Sit down. Let's breathe. Mokso. Mokso Yane. Let's say Up we pop. And as always, quick warm up just to check how everything's holding together. Starting with the neck, head forward and back. Oh, that's lovely. And turning left and right. And over to each shoulder. As always with these warm ups, they're quite short. Semicircle forward. So, if you're feeling particularly tight, just do one of my fitness classes and backwards. You know, these classes are short just because, well, oh, lots of reasons, technical mostly, slow it down. <laughs> uh, so, putting them back to back is a good idea. We're doing your own stuff. Shoulders forward, shoulders back, work in the scapula. Just taking together, bring the arms in. Big arms, big circles forward, big circles backwards. That's it. I've got this, you've got this, we've all got this. Shake your hands off. Just let everything go floppy. Now you go. Hands on the hips. Let's see, big circles. That's good, one way, and the other. And slow it down, twist the hips off. See if you can slap yourself with your belt. Slow it down, squat down, all the way down. To the floor, bring your hands into prayer position and lift the chest. Look at the ceiling. Bring your hand down, head down, hands down. Push your butt up. Stretch the hamstrings. Bring the butt down. Lift the chest up. Lift the head up. Drop the head. Drop the hands. Lift the butt. And slowly come up. Yeah, shake it off. Alrighty, we'll uh, recap the handwork. So everybody feet together. Yuri and Yori. Just from standing. Chokazuki standing punch, do we remember? Straight punch, straight at the camera. <laughs> Slow, just moving things, just getting things moving a bit. Left hand out, right hand on the hip. And punch itch. Me. Sa. Chi. Go. Rook. Sitch. Hatch. Q. Tsu. Yame. Alrighty. Rising block. Can you remember? <laughs> this one's for the little people. So if I can condescend and you're an adult, there are little people watching. So can you remember rising block? 
Agyuki. It goes up and across like the windscreen wiper. Remember? So let's do rise and block. Reach and block. Each. E. San. Chi. Go. Rook. Sich. Ha. Q. Tiu. Rame. Next block we're going to do is Sotouki. Round the house's block. All the way round. Okay, so remember, bring the fist up to just beside the temple. Okay, reach, pull this arm back, swing it across, across, then swap the hands and repeat. It's quite simple, <laughs> honest. Okay, do the count and itch. Knee. Sa. Chi. Go. Rook. Sitch. Hatch. Q. Tsu. Yame. Uh, hang on. Next one. This is beginner's class. Gotta remember, not mix up. Beginner's intermediate. Low level block, Gidambarai. Can we remember that? How does that go? It sweeps down. It sweeps down, that's right. So, to the count. Slowly. Itch. Knee. San. Chi. Go. Rook. Sitch. Hatch. Q. Two. And yame. So we're doing these slow. Now slow doesn't mean... Okay. Mm. All right. Do them quite deliberately. Reach. Block. Tense. Reach, block, tense. Now tense is the kimai which comes later. And the last block I think we did is knife hand block or knife hand strike. Shutouki. Can you remember? Yes? Right. <laughs> Let's try it. Turn to the left, turn to the right from standing. Slowly. Reach. 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 Re. San. Chi. Go. Rook. Sitch. Ha. Chiu. Chiu. Ah, yeah. Good. <laughs> okay, hands back here. Kick your heels. Itch. Me. San. Kick your hands. Chi. Go. Rook. Sitch. Ha. Chiu. Two hands in front, kick the knees. <laughs> kick the hands. Itch, knee, san, chi, go, rook, sitch, hatch, q, two. Put one hand here and one hand here. Kick the hand in the back, then hand in front. One count, two slaps. Itch, e, san, chi. Go, rook, sitch, hatch, q, two, swap hands and repeat. Itch, e, san, chi, go, rook, sitch, hatch, q, two. Oh, that got fast quite quick, didn't it? <laughs> All right. Hips around. And reverse and shake them off. Okay, so we've done a recap. Punch three block, four blocks. I get key, you know, so to key, yeah, yeah, yeah. One punch, four blocks. Two kicks, which we've been doing in my Gary and Mawashi Gary. So we've just warmed up for my Gary, which is front kick. Remember front kick? 
the leg comes up, the hips push forward, front, shin, and the parts of leg snaps out and back, and then comes down. Okay, feet together. You can have the kick sideways or move back from your TV. And we'll just kick from standing and gently itch. Hey, Sam, G, go, Rup, Sitch, Hatch, Q, Two. And this will be the acid test of whether that magic white tack has worked. <laughs> See if I'm still in focus, still in focus, or if I've gone romantically blurry. <laughs> right, roundhouse kick, get the warm up done quickly. Take a, a, a split stance. Yeah, just step forward with one leg. Back knee lifts up. Up. Okay, take a hand out. And remember, you're cocking the leg like a dog going to the toilet. All right, foot comes up, knee comes up, all together, all in one. Got it? Let's try it. Itch, re, san, chi, go, rook. Sitch, hatch, Q, two, lovely jubbly. Try the other side, and itch, knee, san, chi, go, rook, sitch, hatch, Q, two, AMA. Alrighty, we're going to practice roundhouse kick. You can either do it sideways on or facing your TV. If you're going to face your TV, take a big step back. <laughs> I'm surprised that I haven't seen stuff about people kicking through the TV screens yet, but anyway, I suppose you, Oops, you're all very intelligent folk. Okay, and you know the distance. So, if you remember Mawashi Gary roundhouse kick, the leg comes up, comes around, and you step forward. Okay, comfortable, and itch. Hey, San, Chi, Go, Rook, Sitch. Have fun too. <laughs> Swap legs. I can hear the hear the howls. <laughs> My hips. I told you. Gotta keep working on them. Other side. And itch. Hey. Go. Rook. Sitch. Hatch. Q. Two. <laughs> Yummy. Breathe. Okay. Hopefully warm. So let's do the class. <clears throat> Three stances that you need to learn. <clears throat> it's alright. It's only something stuck. No need to panic. <laughs> you can take your PPE off. <clears throat> right. Zen Kusadach, long stance. Bet you all think you know it, don't you? Well, I got news for you. 
This is not Zen Kusadachi. 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 <laughs> This is nearly Zen Kusadachi, right? This will do for purposes of demonstration. A long lunge, front leg bent, back leg straight, back foot, trying to point forward. From the side, it looks like this, okay? All right, so what do some of you do this wrong? Well, some of you do this with your back foot. Turn it forward. Some of you do this with your front leg. Bend it. Some of you do this with your step. Too narrow. Make it wider. Now, if you're all copying along, you should have a long stance. Wide, long, back foot forward, front leg bent. <laughs> you could send me pictures and I could tick them, like teacher at school. <laughs> this is my Zen Kus, does it look right? <laughs> Good, never great. No, 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 yummy. Okay, so. Shoulder width stance, you step forward into long stance. I'm going to assume you've got an idea of what you're doing. Take a moment. So we're just going to step forward and step backwards in long stance from yoi. Feet shoulder width here. This is yoi, ready position. You step forward into long stance and step back to yoi. And you're going to swap sides. I'm back, okay? It's dead easy, dead easy drill. But I would like you to drop your weight and push forward. I do not want you to fall forward, okay? Drop, slide, slide, lift, drop, slide, slide, lift. <laughs> It's all about dancing. So, stepping forward, left and right, into long stance. Do the count. Itch. And back. So one count, out and back. Knee. San. Chi. Go. Rook. Sitch. Hatch. Q. Two. Lovely. Step forward. Now, hello, close enough for you. Hello. <laughs> Anybody there? Hello. Stepping back into long stance. Yeah? Drop the weight, drive the foot back into position. Left and right, let's have a go. To the count. Each and back. E. San. Chi. Go. Rook. Sitch. Hatch. Q. Two. And yummy. Good. Now, a bit of homework. Press pause. And I'd like you to do 20 steps forward, left and right, 20 steps backward, left and right. And come back to me when you're done. Hello again. <laughs> I hope you took a rest. <laughs> this time, we're going to step forward long stance with low level block. Gidan Barai. Yeah, do it with a little bit of deliberation, slowly, but make it feel like it means something. 
otherwise it won't mean anything. It's just going through the motion. All right, feet together, knee be. Left and right, long stance, as end to touch, by Geet Ambarai. To the count. One count, step out, step back. And itch. Me. Sa. Chi. Go. Rup. Sitch. Ha. Q. Two. And stepping back. Long stance. Like you down for eye. And to back to yoi. To the count. Hitch. Knee. Sa. Chi. Go. Rook. Sitch. Hatch. Q. Two. Good, got that? <laughs> okay, I'm one more which means step forward, get on by his end piece of dash, a little bit faster. Hitch, knee, sand, chi, go, rook, sitch, ah. Q, two, lovely. Step back, same thing. To the count. Hitch, knee, sand, chi, go, rook, sitch, hatch, Q, two, AMA. Well done. Long stance, long stance. We check time. I'm gonna do that. Let me see where we're at. Ooh, jolly good. Okay. So, next one. Back stance. Kokutsudach. So, so. Look at the face in front. This is back stance. Probably can't see very much, that's the idea. It's a defensive stance, your weight is back. Okay? From the side, it looks a little bit like this. Okay? Okay, okay. So, the back foot points to the side, the front foot Goes forward, the knees are pushing out. Your body weight is pushed back. Here. Some people bring it here. I like mine to be a bit wider. Just because it works the hips. You know, them hips. Okay. Common errors. This one, horrible. Front knee, that way. <laughs> All right, you sh it. If your hips are weak, when you bring it that way, you'll feel it here as a muscle works. That muscle is weak. <laughs> you might feel it here as something stretches because that muscle is weak. Mm -hmm. This is weak, this is tight. Take the knee out that way, and also, other thing that then happens, ready, is this. <laughs> Push that one out So Both knees must go out, working the outside of the hip here. All right. This is what can happen. One, two. <laughs> Don't let that happen. All right, I can't see you, I can't correct you. So, we're going to do this slowly. This one's 
not. Little people, you're okay. Your form is just a bit off. Older people, this one's for you. We're going to slow it right down, okay? Because most adult Westerners, or yeah, people who live in the Western world, yeah, who sit a lot, have difficulty with this. So we're going to step forward into back stance. When we're in back stance, we're going to pull the knees out. Yeah? So we can feel this. I'm going to step back, step back to the other side, and pull the knees out. All right? Let's see. Can you see me? I'm sure you can. So there'll be a two count. All right? You will love this. So, yoy. Step forward makes no difference which leg. Step forward, back stance. One, pull the knees out. Two, you can push them out. And so you can feel what you're doing to pull the knees out. Step back. Step out. One, knees out. Two, got it. Itch, knee. Itch, knee. Itch, knee. Itch, knee. Itch, knee. Itch, me. Itch, me. One, two. One, two. One, two. Settle into the stance. Push the knees out. Push the knees out. I know there are some of you hurting. That can't be avoided. Sorry. Two. One, two, one. <laughs> Quote of the day, pain is just weakness leaving the body. I've had that said to me and my reply is no, pain is just pain. Anyway, one, two, <laughs> and back. One, two, and back. One, two, and back. Got it? Squeeze. Sit. Squeeze. Now hopefully you're feeling the muscles that you need to use to pull the knees apart. Yeah? Even if it's not moving very much. You want to feel them engaging right in here. Yeah? Step. Squeeze. Step, squeeze, and that might coincide with the squeezing here, tightness here. Yeah, that's no problem. That's just something you've got to get used to. Yeah. Now, you, if you've watched this, you'll know I've got a weak side. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, both are weak. Anyway. So I have to constantly work to prevent the weak side trying to get lazy, trying to do that. And that's all it wants to do all the time. Yeah, I need to force it out. It's this one actually that does that. Yeah. Okay, but this is a drill you can do at home. Lock the back leg. Rotate the knee out, 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 out. Just out, in, out, in, out, in. Get a feel for what you're doing. Okay. So, we're going to step. You can pause. You can do a little bit of that on your own. Once you've got good activation in your hips, come back. Hello again. <laughs> so, we're going to do stepping in back stance. We're going to do 10, stepping forward. And then we're going to do 10, stepping backwards, which is slightly easier. Okay, yoi, and itch. Hey. 
San. Chi. Do. Rook. Sitch. Hatch. Q. Two. Well done. Stepping backwards. Itch. Me. San. Chi. Go. Rook. Sitch. Hatch. Q. Two. Ayamai. Nailed it. Good. Level up time. We're going to step with knife hand strike or knife hand block. Okay? Same thing. 10 steps forward, 10 steps back. Knife hand strike. Obviously, with all of this, you can press pause and you can practice these a few rounds in your own time. It always helps to do more. <laughs> yeah? More practice is better than not enough. Okay? So, from Yoi, we're going to step and block. Shutouki. To the count. And itch. Hey. San. Chi. Go. Rook. Sitch. Hatch. Two. Two. Lovely. Right. Stepping backwards, same thing. Itch. Me. San. Chi. Go. Rook. Six. Hatch. Q. Two. Up. Two. Yummy. We put that lump in the carpet. Okay. Well done. So we've gone through long stance, Zen Kutsudach. Back stance, Ko Kutsudach. We're going to finish with Kibadach, horse riding stance. So the horse you're riding, it's a big horse. It eats grass day and night. It's huge. Huge, but it can only eat so much, so it's not massive. This is a stretch. <laughs> okay, so it pushes your knees out, but your legs, your lower legs, still hang straight downish, and your feet point forward because they're in the stirrups. Okay, this is Kibadach. Nice and deep. You're not this deep. It's just above horizontal, uh, parallel. Shins nearly vertical. Thighs nearly horizontal. From the side, it looks like this. It does not look like so just like this <laughs> can't see the joins huh let's try that again filming brilliant it's great when your camera runs out of data okay so we don't want to be leaning forward we want to be sitting back nice and tall and proud if you cannot sit back it'd be because your butt is too weak hips too tight so you're being pulled forward <clears throat> you can fix that by strengthening your glutes and stretching your hips getting the legs able the groin loose that's why I do so much groin stretching yeah it's good for you so keep it out nice big horse last few drills we're gonna start from yoi we're just going to step out into keep it latch and back up. 
Yeah, to the count and itch. Knee, push the knees out. San, chi, go, rook, sitch, hatch, q, two. Well done. We've done one side, we've got to do the other. So they slide out and down, push the knees out. Stay upright and itch. Me, San, Chi, Go, Rook, Sitch, Hatch, Q, Two. Hey, am I? Well done. <clears throat> so, we're going to do final stepping drill to keep it at you, okay? We're going to start facing front. We're going to step through to the side, step back to the front, step through to the side, back to the front. That's all we're going to do, side to side. <clears throat> Those that are a bit more advanced, remember to look for that cat stance. Yeah? Okay, let's go. And step, hitch. E, San, G, Go, Rook, Sitch, Hatch, Q, Two, Again, Itch, E, San, G, Go, Rook, Sitch, Hatch, Q, Two. Yummy. We're not going to do any hand moves with Kibidach because, well, a lot of you aren't strong or stretchy enough to do that comfortably. Add in the hand moves and you forget about what your hips and legs are doing. So, <laughs> so we're all going to focus last few all the way through. Keep it at stepping, that's all. Tell me you love it. I love it. Good. Let's go. And itch. Me. San. Chi. Go. Rook. Sitch. Hatch. Q. Two. And stay there. Enjoy that feeling. One more time. Last. Go for gold. Itch. E. San. G. Go. Rook. Sitch. Hatch. Q. And two. <laughs> well done. Yummy. Feet together. And how are you ready? Okay, breathe. Well done. Now, a lot of very basic stuff going on in all of these classes. <clears throat> Quite a tough class that, especially if you have to film a few bits several times because your camera is not fit for purpose. However, I can't argue about that because I keep telling you to do more in your own time. And obviously more is better. <laughs> this stuff done for repetitions is the bread and butter of karate. It gets your hips and legs strong, flexible, mobile, balanced, coordinated. It gets you to situate into a position where you don't have to think about what you're legs and hips are doing. They do it automatically. The movement patterns are smooth. And that, though you may not think it, helps when you come to sparring and fighting later on, which we haven't been able to do for quite a while. But honestly, the basics gives you the core abilities. Then when you practice the sparring drills, they are easier to do because you're used 
to doing things that require extra strength, flexibility, and mobility that you don't rely so much on in the sparring. It's a bit like stretching, yes? Well, no, it's not. Nothing. It's, no, it's like injuries. <laughs> Most injuries happen when a body is taken to the end of its to its end range of motion to max. Yeah? You don't strain a hamstring in strong motion. Usually, you strain a hamstring once you've extended it to its weakest point. Yeah? So if you are very strong through a big range of motion, then you'll be even stronger when you do a short range of motion. Anyway, long story short, it'll help your resilience. Okay, let's finish there, because I have a habit of waffling, as you're aware. Feet together. Maybe. Say that. So from next week, we'll start doing other bits and bobs. Uh, you've all done the kicks, the punches, the steps. So I'm going to look at taking, doing things a little bit more uh, exciting, exciting, challenging, taking it up a gear. Are you ready for that? Are you? You better be, because you go up a gear next week. So let's finish with breathing, look so. Enjoy the rest of your day.